Happy holidays, everybody. So I am doing a Sugar Plum Fairy inspired makeup look. Just stay tuned and keep on watching as I walk you through this wonderful tutorial. So right now I am taking Max Stud Pencil and I am just going and drawing and filling in my brows there. And plus they haven't been threaded in a while, so we're gonna make some magic happen with those. And now I am taking my NC45 Concealer by MAC. And it's a pro long wear. This concealer, I really love this concealer. It's just really, really great for a base on my lids, especially when you want those colors to pop. And I was using the cream at first. And that was good too, but this one, it's really, really great. I absolutely love it. So I just pull that all the way down on the lid and I just, I'm pretty generous with it as well because I know how much I want to put on there and I know that once I actually take that concealer and blend it in, it just, it just blends so beautifully. And then I'm just of course going on my brows on the top to give it more shape as well. And plus I gotta get rid of those tail ends because I hate long tail ends of brows, especially if I've already drawn them a little longer. You can cut them off with the concealer. That's what concealing's about. <laughs> So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and there's no product on there. I am just blending out the concealer and you can see what I was talking about before that it does blend so nicely. It gives me a really smooth, clean base. Doing the other eye. I'm gonna take some Too Faced setting powder, which is completely awesome. And I'm just sealing in that concealer so it does not move. And so now I am going just into the eye look here and I am using Cocoa Truffle from the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. And you can use any medium brown, it really does not matter, especially if there's so many medium browns out there and you'll be able to figure that out. <laughs> so I'm just doing my windshield wiper motions going back and forth in my crease, also above my crease too as well if you can tell. Whatever I'm jamming to. Had to be good at something. <laughs> okay, so now what I am getting ready to use is my Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette. And I am taking the color Kenya, which is a darker brown. So I just, of course, I'm kind of staying on the outer corner as well because I wanted to have a little bit more definition and depth. And then I am also taking Jezebel, which is a beautiful plum color. I love plums as well on the eyes. They just really make my eyes pop. Purple and plums, they really look good on everyone. I'm just taking a smaller brush there, which is a smaller pencil brush, and I'm just concentrating on the outer V. That's where I really want the attention for that color there. And of course, my browns are just my transitions. And if, of course, there's any fallout, of course, you can just take a brush and sweep that right up. That's why I like actually doing my eyes first. I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm just blending all those colors together as well so there's not any harsh lines going on. So blending, my key for that is of course you just have to kind of go back and forth sometimes. Especially what desired look you're going for, you want to make sure that your lines are gone. And now I'm just taking a flat shading brush and I'm going into the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. I am using Classy and Sassy. I would have to say this is definitely a palette that they like, Just it was just bomb, such a bomb palette. I love it, absolutely love it. I love like every color. 
the chocolate gold palette their names are just like really cool i really love the names of all the palettes there oh you can see really really love those colors so then i'm just taking a little bit of the fix plus and just making the colors a little bit deeper and of course they just turn out as metallics more and i'm taking that color chocolate gold I'm just going in the middle. See how metallic that is really showing up. It's really, really pretty. song that was <laughs> I actually do not remember that song so just going back and forth especially like if you're doing halo eyes or ombre eyes you definitely want to take those colors and make sure that they all get their part to shine and make sure they show up so I still have classy and sassy right in the inner corners there and then of course the star of the show which is the chocolate gold and I'm just taking a deeper purple. I'll take any deeper purple that you would like. Well, I'm just going on top of that Jezebel because I want it to be a little bit more intense. And I'm taking Jezebel and I'm going back over it. Now it's still intensified of course, but then the Jezebel still just kind of toned it back down a little bit from it being so dark. So I make sure all those colors have a part in the movie. So they have to be shown, they have to have their part. And I just take my fluffy brush and I just blend everything back out still for no harsh lines and just to make sure everything is perfect. I'm taking Midnight Cowboy, which is a really beautiful gold glitter. It also can come off a little bit silverish too, depending on how you use it. If you have a base under it, you can use it either way. So I'm just using that inside the crease there. It's almost definitely like um, what I did there was like, it's like kind of like a cut crease. And then you, of course you just go in with some glitter too. So, I actually didn't have any like purple liner, so I just used um, a liquid liner. Not a liner. <laughs> Not a liner. I actually used a liquid lipstick. So then I took Lime Crime, and I just took like a really like plummy color. I just made a wing liner from there. kind of fun <laughs> I didn't really want to take black I just didn't really want to take away from the look so much so I just stuck with what was in the plum family and I think I had a plum liner from Tarte but I couldn't find it at the time so I was just like hey why not let's just use a lipstick So I start my liner really in the middle of my eye and then I go and use short strokes in the inside and of course I just make my wing. I'm gonna take one of those plum colors which is probably of course Jezebel, this is what it looks like I have there and I'm just going under the eyes. So most likely what I do all in the crease and all on the eyes I do at least half on the bottom. So 
So I'm just gonna go with the face for right now. And I'm gonna be taking the Tarte H2O. It has a really nice scent to it, but it does not irritate my skin. Um, I do like this moisturizer, it's really nice. And I actually love using the samples, um, especially when I go to Sephora. I try to go for things that I like know I'm gonna use. taking a flat kabuki brush flat top kabuki and then I'm just blending all of that into the skin so I'm taking the NARS soft matte I love this concealer it's really, really great, and I'm just going to be putting that right under the eyes to give me my nice highlight. That concealer is actually really good for summer as well, I would say. The Radiant Creamer Concealing. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry. <laughs> So I am just using I'm just using the soft matte one. I am not using the radiant creamy concealer, only because um, I just wanted to just give that one a break for a second and just use this one to try to get used to something else. Because I know once I really love something, it can definitely just stick with me. That's just how I am. <laughs> so I just actually am taking my beauty blender. I'm just blending out just a little bit past the brow. I don't really take it all the way out too much. I do not want to make my face look wider. My face is actually already round. So there's no point in doing that. And it just gives a really nice glow. My concealer actually has quite of a long name. So <laughs> I'll have everything also in the description for you as well. I'm just going to be doing the baking process for this. I'm using that same powder that I used to seal my eyes, which is the Too Faced powder. I think it's called like the Ethereal powder. So that's what I'm using to bake with today. Okay, lashes are definitely on. And I'm just taking that powder and I'm whisking all of that away. I'm just taking my color powder, which is pecan and my fashion fair. And I'm just gonna take that all over the face as well. Um, Fashion Fair, of course, you know that was definitely back in the day with Diane Ross, so I'll definitely be doing some little tutorials for you on that as well. I'm just taking some Jezebel and going back under the eyes since I've already had all the powder and wisping all that away. I'm taking Midnight Cowboy and I'm going under my lashes. I want to still look like a fairy. I put a little bit of gold eyeliner in my waterline and also I am taking that glitter liner and just putting that on the lashes. I thought that would be fun. So to contour, I am just taking the Dose palette and I'm just taking a dark brown and I'm just going to the cheeks. 
if you guys have anything that you really love to contour with just let me know I'm just taking this blush and it's called Fever. Let's buy Fashion Fair as well. It's a really nice purple. It's a nice bright purple, but it doesn't show up like super Barney purple, but it does really have a nice flush of purple to the cheeks. Of course, and if you just need to fix up a few things, go right ahead, that's what I do. I'm just doing a little bit of reverse contour and I don't do this often but only if I really want to accentuate um, the contour it's more of a soft contour that I don't do it as much and I'm just gonna sit there and wait for a second I guess <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna line my lips with night moth by Mac My cheeks are baking. So I'm just gonna take the same lime crime lipstick there and I'm just going all over my lips. And it's the same liner that I actually use, as well as the same lipstick that I actually use for a liner. And I'm gonna be taking Beauty Bakery. And that color is also the bomb. And LeBron's, of course, you know we gotta lose, use LeBron's. LeBron's is just the perfect, perfect highlighter. That's been my favorite highlighter since it came out. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. And she, of course, you know, she's got the new La Peach out, so I already got that coming in the mail. So, mailman needs to hurry up, or we're gonna have some problems. But other than that, this is such a beautiful, beautiful, true rose gold. Now I'm really looking like Rudolph. This is one of the high points of the face, which is the cheeks, the nose, Cupid's bow. Now, this was like my first lipstick from Beauty Bakery. Her stuff does not budge. She has great, great lipsticks. Definitely love her products. I'll definitely have what this color is named in the description box as well. 